I am so sorry I'm late. I finally got those reports set up this morning, and then I got this phone call, and it totally threw me off track. Listen, Maya, I really don't want to hear it. This has been happening a lot lately, and I'm getting sick of you being late to work every day. I really think it's time that you take a break. Wait. My designs have really been taking off. I think that if you just give me a chance to show you how much I've improved, you won't regret it. Wyatt, I don't want to hear it. It's over. With all these new investors looking into the company, I really can't afford to have you late every day this week. What am I supposed to do? Do you get off on this? Is that what this is about? Sitting in your big chair, in your big office, in your own business. Is that what this is? A power trip? I'm only going to say this once. Get out. Fine. I don't need this. What'd you do last night? Left. That's, that's why I asked. Yeah, I know. Unlike you, who spend the entire night looking at the TV and watching playoffs. Well, you know those six attractive women that are sitting at the table next to us? Oh, I yeah, I went to go talk to the six attractive women that were sitting right next to us, and I left with them. Yeah, and what did you do? Well, we were going to go dancing or something. Uh, okay. But I had been drinking a bit, you know, and so I had to take a piss. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a bush by the end of the hill, you know, right at the top of the street. So I walked down the hill, just taking a piss in the bush, and behind the fence, I could see in someone's backyard, there was a pool. No one was around. The lights were off in the house, so I just figured, like, you know, she was just so I started skiing yeah, dipping with these yeah. six girls. Yeah, that was awesome, man. And then and then they called their friends, uh -huh. and um, it was pretty much fine. It was mostly uh -huh. a bunch of other chicks, you know, yeah. and it was great. And then they called a couple of their friends, and this one guy showed up. I think he must have been kind of naked or something, but he was out of it. He was totally out of his skin. Like, no, no, man, it was, it was, it was aggressive. Really? Well, there was too many of us after a while. The cops came, right? And this guy fucking punched the cop right in the yeah. face. Like, right in the jaw. Right like, in the jaw? Yeah. It was, I wasn't worried. And, but, well, this oh other cop, God. well, another cop rolled in at the exact same time and he shot him. Right? Shot him? There's nothing funny about being shot. What are you being so... What's wrong with you? Every time that I come to a bar with you, you tell the same story, but you know, some details change. Like, more women. You know, if you did something. Two cops instead of one. Other than right? watching hockey. Every single time we're at a bar. You know what? If we're in Forest Grove and I hear this story again, I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm gonna take a gun, I'm gonna shoot you through the chest. Okay, real cute. Yeah, can we hey. I need to stay really quiet, okay? There's militia everywhere. This guy following me. I'm gonna lead him out to a vantage point. I'm gonna shoot him. Okay, but you need to stay here. There's a lot of guys hanging exactly like you, right off the trees, and they're dead, okay? So if you just pretend to be like them, I think you'll be alright. So how do you feel after your first treatment? I feel like I was just gang raped by the Buena Vista Social Club. Is everything with you going to be a joke? I'm serious. Have you heard their horn section? Adam, you have a responsibility to your mind and body. I was just injected with three pints of kryptonite. Do you cut it with the new agey stuff? You can't just sit there and ignore what's happening to you. You have to stop bottling everything up. What I need is for people to stop telling me what I need. Have you considered that this cancer is nature's way of telling you that you need to change the way you live your life? There's an old saying, you can't change the wind, but you can adjust the sails. They teach you that in medical school? I know you don't like to talk about your feelings, but you have to learn to find an outlet. An outlet for what? I have cancer. And how is your body ever going to learn to fight the stress of that cancer if you can't even handle your own emotions? I'm sorry I can't handle my emotions at this particular juncture in my life. You don't have to be here. I'm sorry. 
I know you're only trying to help. It's just that this is all too much for me. I don't know what to do. Just tell me what to do and I'll do it. I want you to do some homework. Here's a list of books on mind-body therapy. They should help you get started.